Well, it's great to see the young carers enjoying the uh, work with Bath Philharmonia. Um, but I was a young carer. My father died when I was four, and then my mother became terminally ill when I was 12. Uh, and my brother and I, uh, with our grandparents, looked after my mum until she died when I was 15. So it was quite an intense uh, period of being a young carer. Uh, and, you know, you sometimes felt a bit lonely, you felt a bit different. Um, but uh, on the flip side, I got very close to my mother. What could or can your party do to help youngsters like that? Well, at local government level, we can do huge amounts because Liberal Democrat councils can work with the voluntary sectors, with carer groups, uh, with music groups, to try to make these sort of things happen. But of course, uh, as an MP, I want to make sure the government is doing far, far more. That's support for councils, support for uh, those organisations like Bath Philharmonia who really want to reach out and help out make sure they have the funding, and it doesn't cost very much, but has li that little bit of funding so they can put on some fantastic things to give young carers a break, for example, a break from the caring, and make sure that they enjoy life a little bit more than otherwise they would. An impressive afternoon, they're plucky young kids, aren't they? Yeah, I was plucking the double bass uh, along with someone, uh, but they were amazing. And, you know, whenever I speak to young carers, uh, I don't just get flashbacks to my own experience, but I just think how important it is. There's real evidence that if you help young carers, uh, they'll be not just be happier people, healthier people, they'll do better at school. Uh, the real evidence that if we don't support young carers, their ability to do well at school will be m much reduced. Talking of music, uh, how much sweet music do you think the Lib Dems are going to make on May the 4th across the country? I'm hearing orchestras go off in my head. Uh, you know, we had a great uh, performance four years ago uh, where we made over 700 games. Uh, I think we could even uh, build on that and make a few, quite a few gains across the country. We're finding that. Uh, People who've traditionally voted Conservative, who said, when well, I normally vote Conservative, voted Conservative all my life, they're pretty cross with what's going on and they're looking for a change. But you will find here, it's friendly territory. We've got a Lib Dem administration. <coughs> Whoops. <laughs> We're all still alive. You will find that there are quite a few people in Bath not too happy with this Lib Dem administration who they're accusing of being anti-car and anti-business? Well, um, I think both of those are not true, uh, and you'll find lots of other people who will be saying uh, what a great job the Liberal Democrats are doing on the environment, whether it's from recycling to, to helping uh, on the climate emergency. You'll find lots of people who really like the fact that at long last, they have uh, people in the council wanting to build affordable housing so much needed by young people and people who are struggling. So um, I, I'm confident that we're going to hold on to the council here in Bath and North East Somerset and actually even make gains. The Conservatives are showing themselves really not fit to govern here in Bath or frankly in the country. I'm, I'm a block, so I don't mean to be impartial. I'm here to talk to you because I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Could I ask you, Ed, uh, people have to show physical evidence of identification this time around. What effect do you think that's going to have on the number of people who actually vote? I'm very worried about these new laws brought in by the Conservatives. I voted against them. Uh, they're requiring people to have photo ID uh, before they can vote. Uh, and I think you've got a, a number of people who won't realise that and they'll turn up and then they will turn away and they won't bother voting. Some people who will just say, well, I can't be bothered, it's made it too complicated for me. That's difficult. You know, it's often tricky getting people to turn out in local elections. Making it more difficult is completely the wrong thing. And there are some people, maybe you call them cynical, maybe realistic, who are saying the Conservatives are doing this deliberately. They're making it actually more difficult for young people to show that uh, they've got photo ID. Young people can't use their travel cards, whereas people who are more, more uh, mature uh, are able to use their, their travel cards for photo ID. That suggests there's something not right with these concerted proposals. I'm deeply alarmed by them, and I would just urge people, young people, pensioners, wherever you are, go and vote, get that photo ID, and let's not allow the Tories to undermine our democracy.